Hey YouTube, this is Gary with Liberty Road Defensive Pistol Training and we're here for Mindset Monday today. And uh, Mindset Monday to this week, we're going to start to talk about the OODA loop. Now this is going to be a four part series. If you don't know what OODA loop is, it's an OODA is an acronym for Observation, Orientation, Decision, and Action. And this is uh, basically boils down to the human reaction time of a threat, for a threat, okay? So, uh, and, and we're going to start to explore ways that we can A, avoid those threats, B, um, maximize our time to react to the threat, and C, actually react to the threat. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so, we're going to start with the observation part. When we talk about the observation part of the Yoda loop, we want to talk about the levels of awareness. Okay. Levels of awareness are broken down in a color-coded system, broken down into level white, level yellow, level orange, level red, and level black. Okay, uh, level white, you want to see a good example of level white, go to a Walmart. There's a bunch of zombies walking around in there, totally oblivious to anything else going on around them at all. Totally unaware of anything. Okay, that's the level white of awareness. Most people live in that level of awareness, okay? It is also that level of awareness that criminals who are uh, predators, they're looking for people who live in that level of awareness, okay? Level yellow is you are aware of your surroundings, you're aware of the people around you, the coming and going, but you're not uh, to that level of awareness where you're look, specifically looking for a threat. Think of it more as you're just kind of watching the world on your peripheral vision. You see it, you know it's there, but you haven't identified a threat that you need to be worried about yet. Okay? But you're looking for the threat. Alright. <laughs> level orange, you have identified a possible threat. This person may be a threat, okay? And uh, in, in, in that level of awareness, once you've become aware that someone might be a threat, and it may even be to the, to the, uh, to the point where you're, you're looking at a crowd of people and you're identifying which of those people may become a threat, okay? So uh, that's your level orange, okay? Level red is you've identified the threat, you've turned your attention to that threat, and yes, it is a threat. And now you have to decide, and now you have to act, okay? In level orange, you have to decide if you're going to act. In level red, you are going to act, okay? <clears throat> so this is the different levels of awareness. And then the last level is level black. Generally, the easiest way to put level black is you're dead. Okay, and generally what happens is people go through the progression of the levels of awareness if they start in yellow. If you're living your life in the yellow level of awareness, then you can go through the progression from orange to red. But most people don't do that. Most people live in white level of awareness where they're totally oblivious to anything going on, texting, walking through Walmart or what are just totally not paying attention, and they generally go from level white to level black without stopping anywhere in between. Level black is the level of awareness where you become aware of a threat when it's too late. Okay? So we don't want to, we, we want to try to stay in that level yellow of awareness. We always want to understand that at any time um, you can be faced with a threat. And if you understand that at any time, any point of time during the day, you can, be stay, you can be faced with a threat, then that makes it easier to live in that yellow level of awareness where you're watching what's going around you, the people who are going around you, um, the things that are going on around you, the circumstances. So that's, uh, that's the levels of awareness. So observation, being observant of your surroundings. And it also goes... 
above and beyond the levels of awareness, you walk in a door, where are the exits? Okay? That's a, that's a good question to ask. If you're living in yellow level of awareness, what's the fastest way out of here? If, if you get into a, an active shooter situation, you know, where someone's walked into Walmart and decided to kill everybody, what's the easiest, quickest way out? You know, where are all the exits? <laughs> so I hope that helps understand with the understanding of, of uh, the observation part of the OODA loop. Uh, come back next week and we'll talk about the orientation part of the OODA loop. That's not what you think. <laughs>